The Tale of the Unguarded Garden. Followed. Are you sure, Peter? Positive. Followed by what? A fox? No, not a fox. The what? <gasps> wanted to, um, practice my diving. <laughs> How did she creep up on us like that? She's super sneaky. Runs in the family. Peter, play peekaboo. Sorry, Cottontail. Can't play peekaboo right now. We're on an extra dangerous adventure. We are? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> We've completely run out of radishes. Hungry. You'd better run home, Cottontail, before anything dangerous comes our way. <gasps> um, something dangerous is already coming our way. Uh, uh... Quick, hide! <laughs> Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor is going. Who cares where he's going? The important thing is he's gone, and that means... Of course! Of course what? No, no one, one is guarding his garden! garden. And life's amazing And everything is fresh and new Play, rabbit, play Embrace the day There's a whole wide world just waiting there for you <laughs> Delicious Amazing uh, Oops uh, Excuse me <laughs> <laughs> I wish Mr. McGregor would go away every day. Me too. Maybe we should be stocking up on food while we can. Lily's right. We could feed all our families for a week if we get enough food. Make four piles. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. <laughs> Let's hop to it. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. Roots, fruits. Unusual. A song about food sung by food. <laughs> fruity, fruity, queeny, beanie. Fruity, fruity, queeny, beanie. Hello <gasps> oh, there, Cottontail. Again, again. Phew. Baby Lisa. Queeny, beanie. You've been 
great, Cottontail. But better leave it to us now, OK? Uh-huh. <laughs> have we got enough? I hope so. If I have to dig up any more radishes, I might turn into one. Yeah. Mr McGregor could be back at any second. Don't worry, Lily. We're safe. In fact, why don't we have some lunch? You took the words right out of my mouth. Mr Todd! Never mind. There's plenty of other rabbits. Now, where are they? Excellent hiding, Lily. Uh, 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 I'm a little strawberry. I'm a little strawberry. Uh, How considerate. Providing your own strawberry garnish. Ah! Uh, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, no, stop that! Uh, ah, not on the tweed! Wait, we can't leave without Cottontail. Where'd she go? Peter? Oh no! Somebody else tag along today, did they? Uh, you don't want my little sister, you want me! Uh, uh. Peter, over here! Where are those rabbits hiding? Come out, come out, wherever you are. There's no way we can all get past Mr. Todd. <gasps> We're trapped! A good rabbit never gives up! <gasps> Peter, look who's back! Yay! Kitty cat! No, Cottontail. Not yay. If the cat's back, that means Mr. McGregor's back too. <gasps> and he's even more dangerous than a fox. <gasps> I know that for a fact. Yes, that's it! We get Mr. McGregor to scare off Mr. Todd for us. That's right. We get Mr. McGregor to... Wait, what? It's easy. We wake the cat. The cat alerts Mr. McGregor. But how do we get close enough? We can't. But I bet someone small and super sneaky could get through that gap. <gasps> Want to play peekaboo with the kitty cat, Cottontail? She's doing it! She's doing it! Uh-oh! I smell rabbit. Ah! Uh -huh. Well, uh, you're pretty stinky yourself. <laughs> it seems our little game of hide-and-seek is over. Yeah, but Cottontail's game of peekaboo is about to start. Let me explain a little something about the natural order, young Peter. Rabbits are scared of foxes. Fact! That's true, Mr Todd. What's the problem, Cat? But then foxes are scared of angry gardeners. Fact! Oh, what angry gardener? <laughs> oh! Mr McGregor! Stop there, you ethies! <laughs> I 
always thought we would, but, you know, phew. Shame we never got any food, though. Uh, never say never! Uh, uh, you won't escape me now! Good old Mr McGregor. Good old Mr McGregor? Yep. Lucky for us, he's better at growing than he is at throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdy, fruity, greeny, beanie. Let's go home. Looks like we're having a feast tonight. Who's hungry? <laughs> roots, fruits, greens and beans. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. <laughs> roots, fruits, greens and beans. Breakout. All clear. Yummy scrummy radishes, here we come. Uh, where did all the radishes go? There were plenty here last time. Well, Benjamin, I guess we ate them all. Okay. How about we find some carrots? My tummy's in a bad mood today. <laughs> Wait. I, I can smell a radish somewhere. This way. <gasps> huh? Mr McGregor's house? We can't go up there. But Peter's right. That's where the radish smell is. Come on, Benjamin. We can do this. We've got to get it. It's gigantinormous. Oh no, alarm bells. Who's there? <gasps> oh no. Rabbits, you <clears throat> won't get my prize radish. <clears throat> we can't touch the fence without Mr. McGregor hearing the bells. I know that for a fact. And then he'll catch us and make a giant rabbit pie to go with his giant radish. We're not quitting yet. We can't climb over the fence, but we can get under it. Benjamin, start digging. OK. <laughs> it's no good. The fence just keeps going down and down and down forever. You've got to hand it to Mr McGregor. No rabbit could ever get in there. No rabbit? But maybe someone else could. Someone who can steer clear of those alarms and who's really good at climbing. No can go! Uh -uh. Sorry, too busy! <laughs> busy doing what, exactly? <laughs> Playing! I mean, squirrel training. Very important to keep fit and bendy. <laughs> Someone bendy is just what we're looking for. There's a giant radish in Mr McGregor's garden, but it's behind the big fence with alarm bells. Oh, see ya. We need your help, Nutkin. We throw a rope over the branch of the apple tree, like this. Then we lower you inside the fence. You pluck the radish and we pull you out. Ta-da! I coloured that in, by the way. That is incredibly nice colouring in. But I'll pass. <laughs> That's too bad, because Mr McGregor's garden is the most exciting place there is. <laughs> Only the greatest acrobat who ever lived could get to that radish. Uh-huh. Keep talking. Only a tree-swinging superstar <laughs> could even get close to it. <laughs> and everyone knows who that is. His name is legendary. From Rocky Island to the deep dark woods. They mean you, Notkin. Whoa! <laughs> yes, uh, I got that. Thank you. Giant radish, here I come! <gasps> Hopping hazelnuts! I've forgotten how great this place was. So much stuff to break. Uh, I mean, play with. <laughs> Bringing Nutkin is the best idea ever. Let's stay alert, make it fast, and above all, keep <coughs> quiet. <laughs> 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 Actually, bringing Nutkin was the worst idea ever. He's the greatest acrobat who ever lived. He's just having a little fun. 
my friend. So this time, ta-da! I brought help. You brought all the other squirrels here? They're all acrobats. Woo! Not quite as good as me, mind you. <gasps> what? We should get out of here. Nutkin, we have to go. Mr McGregor will be here soon. Please. This is really dangerous. If Mr McGregor catches you... OK, OK, we're right behind you. Just one more run. <laughs> Squirrels! OK, guys, time for me to get that giant radish. <laughs> Tie this off and we'll help you. Oh, whoop! Early off! Woo! <laughs> ha ha! I did it! <laughs> you may all clap now! Uh. Hello! Where did everybody go? Hey! <laughs> the <radish. laughs> I knew you could do it! <laughs> of course! <laughs> but by the way, did you see where my squirrel tribe went? No, no, Kim. We haven't seen them. I don't understand. I didn't see them leave. And I've got good eyes. I don't miss a thing. Gotcha! <laughs> well, you won't be bothering me again, ever. Oh, no! Mr McGregor's got Nutkin. <sighs> this is all my fault. It was my idea to bring Nutkin along in the first place. I've got to get him out. Uh, you can't keep us in here. We're wild animals. We need the great outdoors. And Felix gets very sweaty in confined spaces. <laughs> Peter, help us. It's too cramped in here. And uh, somebody doesn't smell too good. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll get you out, Nutkin. We need that key. It's too high up. And look what's under it. Don't worry. I've got a plan. Operation Free the Squirrels is a go. Bad 
I'll never get to taste you. Ready? Ready. Uh, can't hold this much longer. Uh. It was only one radish. There'll be others. Surprise! I felt so bad about you losing out on that giant radish that I went out and found this! Roller in, boys! Ta-da! <laughs> Have you ever seen a radish like it? <laughs> Isn't this a little hard for a radish? <laughs> Narkin, did you paint a really big hazelnut to look like a radish? What? I don't know how you could accuse me of something so, so, so... Yes, yes, that's exactly what I did. But it was Felix's idea. <laughs> oh, well, it's the thought that counts. Wow! Look at the size of that radish! <laughs> no, no, Benjamin, Benjamin don't, don't eat it! it. Ouchie! That's no radish. <laughs> <laughs> 